They emerged from their habitat one after the other and stood as a crew one last time. The five crew members felt the sun and breeze on their faces for the first time in four months and they indulged in all the fresh food they could eat. Oh my gosh, this is good. The crew members spent 120 days in this dome-shaped habitat on Mauna Loa on the Big Island, 8,200 feet above sea level, simulating a base on Mars. It was all part of UH Mauna's Hawaii Space Exploration Analog and Simulation, or High Seas Mission, which aims to research how astronauts perform during long-duration space exploration. We were essentially all strangers getting here, so when we were placed into the habitat in such confined space, you kind of learn everyone's personality and their likes and dislikes. And luckily this crew was um, outstanding in the fact that they're very hard workers. They all uh, wanted to perform well on the mission and help each other out as a team. We couldn't escape from it, so you you have to learn to adapt. You, you, you adjust your schedules to other people. You adjust your, the way you react to things. You uh, you learn about other people and you learn about a compromise. NASA has committed $1.2 million for three high seas missions. The focus of these missions is crew cohesion, where crew members examine their moods, relationships, cognitive skills, and behavioral changes. Sometimes it was like when you're on a family vacation as a kid and you're trapped in the back seat with your brothers and sisters, you can't escape. You, you either get along or it's going to be a miserable trip. Crew members were allowed to leave the dome, but only in spacesuits. To get through the four months, crew members exercised and savored encouraging messages from home that were brought to the dome at the start of the mission and opened on difficult days or special occasions. The crew also immersed themselves in their assigned tasks. Lucy Poulet conducted several experiments growing fresh produce and observed its effect on crew members who maintained a diet of mostly dehydrated foods. Uh, most of the crew really enjoyed seeing the plants grow and each time we had the fruit uh, coming it was a oh my god I can see there is a tomato like first there are flowers oh my god there is a pea growing oh there is a tomato growing oh no it's red we can eat it I harvested them so it was it was great to see that. Ron Williams was the sixth original crew member, but was forced to leave the mission after one month because of health problems involving altitude sickness. The 60-year-old Williams returned to Mauna Loa from his home in Indiana to welcome his crewmates back to civilization. Just happy to see them. Uh, very, very proud of them to, to make it through and uh, for what they've contributed. The crew will spend a week debriefing before going their separate ways, and many have just one item on their list. It's fun to think that I spent four months in Hawaii and I've, I've never seen the beach. The next high seas mission launches in mid-October with six crew members who will remain in a dome for eight months.